Hi guys, welcome back to Art by Arson. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sunflower painting. So first I'm going to start off with the table. I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm going to use a big, big brush, any big brush you have. Then I'm going to start off with some light blue. Just kind of sideways. And some turquoise. And some teal. So what I'm doing right now is I'm blending all the colors together right here. And it's okay uh, if it goes outside your little um, pencil marks that you made because it's pretty much abstract, so it'll be fine. So while the table is getting dry, I'm going to be doing the background or the base. So I'm going to be using royal silver and just regular silver. So I'm just taking some silver. And the royal silver. I'm going to just be adding white so I can just lighten up the shade. Um, the background is dry now and I'm going to take the aqua color and gray and mix it and just like do random strokes like this. So I'm going to take some white because it's not the shade that I really wanted. So just doing those random strokes again. So um, I'm going to be doing the third layer, and I'm, I'm going to be using um, aqua green and white. And I'm going to do those random strokes again. And it's important to take um, not a lot of color, but um, color like most of the time because uh, we want to see those strokes. What I'm doing now is um, I'm just adding some gray throughout the painting and I have these chalk marks right here because I'm going to have some different shades going over there. So I'm taking some aqua and just blending it kind of in with the gray.
So I'm gonna be making the pot right now, or the vase, and um, I'm using peach, white, and gray. So I'm gonna add more gray um, the farther it gets over here because the light's coming right here and the light's not really you know, going over here as much. And there's a shadow. So I'm gonna take some peach and some white and do it right here. And I, I drew my vase. I'm going to be doing another layer on this pot. So I'm just doing the same colors again. So I'll be using, um, for the leaves, I'll be using just different shades of green, dark to light green. So I'm going to start off with my dark green and just do random strokes right here. So I'm gonna be painting the middle of the flower and I'm using burnt sienna and burnt umber. So I'm just getting this old shaggy brush and just mixing, combining them two together and just dabbing. So I'm gonna be painting the petals now and I'm using yellow and I'm just gonna press and release. Press and release. So I'm going to do that the whole way. So I'm going to be painting the leaves once again, just right here. Now I'm going to be paint, painting another flower, just up, right above um, this one, the one that we just made. So I'm going to be doing another layer on the flowers that I made. I'm gonna make the center of the flower big, right here, just like that. Doing, I'm making the center of the flower bigger and the petals because I want it to look a little more full. So I did some like gel medium to make it look a little more 3D, the middle of 3D. So I decided to change the background because I'm not really happy with it. I'm gonna change it to a grayish color and that's the best thing about acrylic. You can change it anytime. So I'm gonna use a square headed brush and some gray and some white and just ra some random strokes. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make the petals um, longer, a little bit longer. And, and why I'm doing that is to cover more of the canvas.
So um, I'm gonna be giving the flowers some texture by using gel medium and yellow orange. I'm gonna take a pelt knife, do it right on the tip, and very carefully do this. And don't press that hard. Now I'm gonna be doing another layer, and I'm using yellow, mixing with gel medium, getting my pout knife, and doing the same exact technique that I did with the orange. And now I'm gonna be adding a light shade of yellow. And I'm taking the side of my palette knife and just going right in between the petals. I'm gonna finish this painting by adding gold leaf to the pot. I've added um, gilding paste, which is like glue and I've added little blotches, then I got my gold leaf right here. This is really thin, so it's really hard. I'm going to be finishing the painting by adding some shades to the flower. So I'm getting raw sienna. And just in the middle of the flower, I'm just dabbing it like this and making little circles. Hope you enjoyed the painting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. See you next time. Bye.